All right, guys, a huge Garibaldi. Woo! I caught another one of these. Look at that, that's so huge. Opalai, woo! First fish of the day. Nice. So let's unhook this dude. Nice opalai. I'm so I'm super stoked right now, even if it's small. Let's go. Hey guys, it's me, Pure Life Fisherman, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are at the dangerous jetty. Huge waves as you can see. But we're gonna try to go for opalai, butter perch, maybe even a Garibaldi. Who knows? Hopefully we can catch something. I'm crossing my fingers, but today's a good day. The sun's out, not a lot of wind. I'm pretty sure I think it's gonna be a good day. So let's, let's go fishing. All right, guys, a huge Garibaldi. Woo! I caught another one of these. Look at that, that's so huge. That's literally like my forearm. That's a huge Garibaldi. Again, you can't keep these because it's state protected, so. Don't keep these fish, but I caught a really nice Garibaldi and look at that it has a little bit of some parasites going through them. Look at that That's cool. I Don't know what these are, but those are probably like parasites or something. Let's release them. Look at that Let's release them. Bye. Bye And there he goes Really nice Garibaldi. All right guys another Garibaldi I'm pretty sure it's the same one. I, it does look like the same one. I'm like 90% sure it's the same Garibaldi. Yep, but I caught another fish, guys, on shrimp. So, bye-bye. All right, guys, so tide is currently going low. So I feel like you can go down these rocks there. I, I'm pretty sure it's kind of safe enough to go down. I'm not really sure. But you just gotta wait, watch for those uh, really big rogue waves and you'll be fine. So let's see what I can catch. Wow. All right guys, fourth fish of the day. Another dinky opali. I caught this on shrimp, size six, octopus hook. I only, I only lost one sinker so, so far, so I'm pretty lucky in terms of snags. But here you go, another cool opali. I'm pretty sure th these are the only fish that are biting right now. Just really tiny opal. I'm pretty sure the big opal I left already. We're getting, it's the, almost the end of opal season. Oh, that's a huge wave. It's almost the end of opal season. So I'm pretty sure it's just baby opal at this point. It's gonna be winter this year again. Maybe at November, December, the opal big opal will come back again. But for now, we I'm fine catching these little dinky boys. Let's, let's unhook this dude. There you go. Nice. All right, guys, another opali. I caught this with shrimp again. So they're starting to bite. This is my third opali of the day. Let's try to catch more of these opalis. They look really nice. You can identify an opali by its color. It's opal eye. And there's a tiny dot here. Same thing with the other side. There might be one or two of these like beige dots. That's how you identify an opali, but they're pretty cool looking, really nice fish. All right, guys, fourth opali and sixth fish of the day. This is slightly bigger, but they're still kind of dinky, so I've been releasing them, but it's still kind of fun catching these fish. It's really fun. Five fish, three opali, two huge Garibaldi. I'm pretty sure it's the same fish, but I'm pretty sure if it's different, then I caught five fish. Let's keep on having this trend of nibble, small nibbles, and then an opali just starting biting, so. Look at that. It's becoming low tide, so I've been just casting it near the rocks. That's a really bad cast, what the? They've been nibbling pretty good, so. Oh, nibble, 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 nibble. They're nibbling. But the problem is they keep on stealing the bait. All right, guys, another opal eye. This one, unfortunately, got hooked in the eye. Fine. I think this fish will be fine. I think you can still see. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go fish. All right, I saved it. There you go. Another opali. Six opali of the day. Eight fish. So eight fish total so far. Woo! Fishing's been good lately, so. Look at that. 
Fun fact about these opali, opali likes to change colors depending on how dark their environment is. If their environment is super dark, not that much light, then the opali can be straight up black. But if it's kind of clearish and some sun can get through the water, they can get a little bit lighter. So as you can see, the water conditions is kind of clearish. So you can, so you can know that these opali will be a little bit lighter. So yeah, that's just a cool fun fact about them. All right, look at this. I managed to get as far down as I can. I see this tiny opali hole. And so I'm just currently casting there now. But hopefully I can get some bites. Seventh opal of the day, ninth fish of the day. Fishing slowed down, but it's low tide enough for me to go down the rocks and look for tiny holes to catch these small opal eyes. And it looks like it paid off. It took a lot of my shrimp though, so it's all right. It took like three shrimp for me to get this, but really cool fish. You guys can see, but there's like two huge starfish over there. Yeah, there you go, that's perfect. Luis found here some really nice big starfish. Really cool. Ahmed got a big opal eye. That's really nice one, huh? Probably 12, 13 inches. Really good. Woo, it's been 12 hours, but look at this, guys. It's sunset, but I got a calico bass. Apparently, it is not legal. It's 12 inches. It needs to be 14 inches to keep. But look at this beauty. 12 inches is not bad. Not at all. I Especially for fishing 12 hours and that's your Definitely. second fish. Definitely. So we're gonna release this guy. All right guys, this is the end of the video. This video was really fun to edit. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.